guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ebony. And I'm Erica. And we are here at Ipsy Studios again. <laughs> and this video is going to be our end of the year holy grail items. We have a, quite a few things, so we're just going to get started so this video won't be too long. And we have a, like from skincare, hair, hair care, and then just miscellaneous, miscellaneous stuff. items. Like, so yeah, we're just going to get started on this. So I'm going to go first and I'm going to start off with hair care and we're just going to like tag team off each other. Yeah. So my first hair care holy grail item is my dry sweat fit band, fit oh, head band. Hello, me oh, too. The same thing. We didn't even see yeah. each other, so I haven't seen her, she hasn't seen mine, mm. so it's gonna be pretty interesting. I have this too. It's the yeah, dry sweat head band. This thing is Sally's what, five bucks. Or die. Like, yeah. It helps your edges. This is my edges best friend. Yeah, this like, stuff, like when we work out, mm. it just protects the it keeps yeah. the edges like nice and slick and like it doesn't let any of the sweat get to it to where it fuzzes up. Yeah. Especially when we mm -hmm. first get our hair done and stuff. We don't do too heavy of workouts, but you know, we still wear this. This is kinda keep it. Um, yeah, because we sweat protected. a lot whether we're working out at work. Yeah. Like and this stuff is really mm -hmm. good. It's only like five bucks yeah. at Sally. Yeah. And when you take it off, like your edges are still smooth. That's mm -hmm. what I like about it. So y'all go to Sally's and get y'all this. Cause I've only seen them at Sally's. Alright, and next for me. Me, they kind of go hand in hand. This is my silk scarf. Oh, you're just gonna wrap it around. You get the idea. And my silk pillowcase. And I just have to have these when I go to sleep. My scarf, especially, I will. If I lose it, I will tear up the house. Your house will not <laughs> right? be at home by the time I finish looking for this scarf. I have. I cannot go to sleep without this scarf on my head. And it's just kind of silk. It's just real silk, satin, I should say. Satin is just really good to sleep on. Just keep your hair, you know, protected and, you know, not have it. Oops. And, and just kind of get that. Um, keep the moisture in, stuff. Keep it shiny and everything. So that's what I just gotta have. Gotta have these. All right, so for my next hair care holy grail item, y'all seen this before too, and it is my argan oil and my, well, they're both argan oil. They're argan oil hair serum and this argan oil of Morocco. And like this is, the, and this stuff is like good for my ends. Like I always put this on my ends, like even throughout yeah, my hair. We love serum for but, our ends, yeah, but I concentrate this on my ends, yeah. And it smells good, it just works, it just is lightweight, it's not heavy at all. And like I said, I mentioned this before, and it will always be a favorite of mine, always be a holy grail item. I will repurchase some type of argan oil. Yeah. I got these in my Ipsy bag, so as long as they keep these coming, then I'm good. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my holy grail item. Right, and next for me is a serum as well, and it's an also an oil. An oil. And first, let me start off with the serum. So this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Restorative Hair Serum. And it's got shea butter and rosemary oil in it. And with this, I don't put a lot, as you see, I don't use a lot, but I've been using it when it comes close to getting my hair washed. I will use this as a good scalp massage for my, um, my scalp. <laughs> Duh. Okay, but yeah, this is the only thing, and it's, there's another oil that I use for my scalp, but this is really good to get a good scalp massage with. And I also put it on my edges and stuff because sometimes when I wear my hair in a ponytail, it will kind of break off of my edges. So this is really good at kind of restoring the hair around my edges. But I really love massaging my scalp. I got really into massaging my scalp for, uh, for my hair routine this year. And this is what, this is the serum that I really like to do it with. And next, of course, you know, of coconut course. oil. You guys, this has been in every this hair, been, I think skin this has probably video. been in every, like more than And you will see it like in a lot videos. more. <laughs> so get used to it. Coconut oil, use it on my skin. I use it on my hair, mainly my ends and everything. And also before I wrap my hair at night. So this is just the truth. It's a very, very, very good oil for conditioning as well. And then lastly for my hair is the Lush Shine So Bright Split End Treatment. I like using this. This was ten dollars. You're probably like for this little bitty pan, mm -hmm. but this this a stuff lasts. You, yeah, a little goes a long way, and uh, you just take your finger in there, and then just kind of distribute it amongst your ends like this, and this just kind of helps your ends look better. Um, I've been using it throughout the year for my hair. I recently got a trim, as you can tell, but um, when I did get the trim, my ends weren't in that bad of shape as compared to what it was before, uh, how it had been in previous years. But this stuff really, I really like this stuff because it's made of, it's got virgin coconut oil in it and it's got shea butter and it has some other, it's got olive oil, all the good oils to kind of nourish your ends and keep them looking, mm -hmm. you know, tight and right. But yeah, this, I love this stuff and it smells really good. All right, so we're done with hair care. We're gonna head on to beauty. And the first product that I have, y'all yeah, have heard this before, but it's the Better Than Sex Mascara, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This stuff is really, really good. Like, I don't have to curl my lashes. Not much needs to be said about this because I've said a lot about it and it's just really, really good. And next are brushes. This is like my brush 
This is my blush brush, and it is the Luxie 504 Large Angle Brush, and then this is the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending Brush. And I got these both in my Ipsy bags, because I just don't buy brushes, so uh, I'm glad they sent these to me. And the I really brushes like these. are free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like these because this um, is an eyeshadow brush. It's actually a blending brush, but I use it for everything. It's like a multi-use brush to me. I use it for blending, for all over, for a little tear duct. And like, I know I have other brushes, but this is just the product that I use like when I'm in a hurry and I don't wanna use like a bunch of makeup brushes or makeup eye brushes. So I use this one for just everything. And then next is just the, I use this for a blush brush. I don't even know if it's for blush, but I use it for a blush brush because it's just, I don't know, it's just easier to put on blush with this. And it's really soft. What I like about these two um, brushes, they're super, super soft. Even after I wash them, they still retain their, um, their softness and their qualities. And I just really like these. Next makeup item is the Skin Waterproof Eyeliner. Y'all, it took me forever to find an eyeliner that does not smudge when I sweat or something. Like, oh, yeah. this is when I just it's do just anything. Worse. Yeah. Especially when you're at work and mm -hmm. then by the end of the night, it's just, I look like a wreck. Yeah, <laughs> it's just all coming down your face and everything. Yeah. And I really like this one. It's actually a dark blue color, but it's so dark that it's like, looks black. Looks black, yeah. I talked about this before. But I wear this all the time when I wear eyeliner on my waterline. And I really, really like it. It's just, it stays there. Like, it doesn't go anywhere. And lastly is, okay, y'all seen this before as well. It's this blush. I know, it looks pretty sad, but it's La Femme. You can't take it out the... It's gonna, it's already oh. broken, so it's gonna like crumble oh. everywhere. Um, it's the La Femme blush in Russet. And I really like their blushes because not only are they cheap, but they last forever. Like, I don't have to reapply or anything. They last all day. And this one is just like a natural looking color. I wear this all the time. I have other blushes, but this one is just the mainstay in my, um, my makeup kit. Okay, so my beauty holy girl items would be, first and foremost, this Maybelline BB Cream. It's the 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin and Clearing Perfector. And you've seen this before as well. This is pretty much all I use on my face. Put it on with a makeup brush and I'm good to go. I hardly ever use foundation unless I'm trying to get, unless I'm going somewhere or if I'm on camera or something like that. But if day-to-day -day activities, it's just BB cream on my face for like that, for the coverage. And then here's the It Cosmetics Brow Power. Now I don't do a lot to my eyebrows except make sure they're there. And then I also like to just kind of, um, kind of comb them, not comb them, but brush them a little bit and everything just to make sure the hairs are going the right way. Gotta be on fleek. Yeah, they gotta be on fleek. I, don't, I tell you, I don't do much. We're already, yeah, we really our don't. family have yeah, naturally thick, eye, thick yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, naturally thick yeah. eyebrows, so I don't really have a problem with like the eyebrow, um, eyebrow shortage, hair shortage. <laughs> and then on the other end, it's dual ended, so here's the spoolie brush that you just kind of brush your eyebrows. And then on the other end, it's a little pencil stick and it's universal. So it goes with anyone's eyebrow tint. So if I go to get my eyebrows waxed and she waxes off a bit more than what I like, I'll just use this to kind of fill in you know, the spots to make them look naturally thick again. But usually she's good about keeping them, keeping them thin. That's a lot and least. You've seen this before. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I think this is the drugstore. This has to be the drugstore dupe for that better than sex one because this stuff really works. It just lengthens the eyelashes like really, really well. And I really like it. And it's only about like eight or nine dollars at the drugstore. This is actually my third, it's my fourth tube. Fourth, yeah, this is my fourth tube. And it's just, it's amazing. Like I said, it brings out eyelashes that I didn't know were there, or like even the tiny ones, it just kind of lengthens them. So yeah, just telescopic. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're done with beauty. Now we're gonna move on to our skincare products. Okay. So we're gonna get started. We actually have the same products for this one. Yeah. So I have the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash and the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner all from the Body Shop. Yeah, I have the Tea Tree mm -hmm. Skin Clearing Facial Wash right here. Yo, this stuff is really, really good. I, I broke out a lot over Christmas last year and- I, I did this summer. Mm -hmm. Oh, you probably, there's little dark spots on my cheeks. You can't see it because the BB cream is covering it, but, um, this stuff really works mm -hmm. to kind of calm down your skin. Yeah. Teach your oil is really good it's for really skin good for care. Skin. All right, and next for me, like, what is this? This is um, African Black Soap. It's from the Shea Moisture line. And I use this and this to both clean my face. I'm using it at the same time. What I do is I use this, and then after a while, I'll just switch to this just to um, kind of have my skin guessing because I'm wanting to just get used to a routine and stuff and not work. So um, yeah, this stuff works really well. This African black soap, I think it has tea tree oil in it. 
yeah, it has tea tree oil in it, so that's why it works well with problem skin. And when I started having my breakouts, I switched mainly to this because it's a bit more, the tea tree oil is a bit more direct, but this works just as well. I mean, mm -hmm. they pretty much work the same way. They both really, really well. All right, so for my next item, I guess it could have been in beauty, but I use it as part of my skincare routine or night routine because I'm taking off my makeup. This is the Up and Up Eye Makeup Remover. I bought, this is my third bottle. This stuff, like, I haven't found anything that compares to it. Um, I've talked about it before, it's comparable to the Neutrogena one. However, um, I haven't used Neutrogena, I don't think. But the other ones that I've used have left my skin feeling like really, I don't know, just really greasy and I don't know. This is one is really good. It takes it all off in like one swipe, maybe two or three. But it does get it off and um, yeah, it's just really, really good. Um, you just put it on a cotton pad and just wipe and everything. It's very gentle on the skin. It's not harsh at all. I don't break out from it. All right, and next for me for skin, this is the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. Okay, y'all know how much we love masks. Mm -hmm. Sheet masks, <coughs> kind of mask, clay mask, yeah. splash mask. We use all kinds yeah, of masks. Yeah, we use all kinds of masks. And this is actually, it says two in one because it is exfoliating as well. So what you do is you put the mask on your face and then after a while, for letting it sit for about 10 minutes, you're gonna take and dip your fingers in water or get to take some, yeah, you're just gonna dip your fingers in water and then you're gonna put it on your skin, on the mask, you're just kind of use circular motions on your skin and then these little beads form that actually exfoliate the skin but it's very mm -hmm. gentle and I really like it because it's also helping with the little breakout stuff that I breakout bumps that I had on my cheeks that, mm. this summer and I don't know something about charcoal because charcoal does pull away impurities so I think that's mm -hmm. what it's doing so if you get a routine going with this your skin will start to clear up that's what mine is starting to do and I really like it all right, so we're done with our hair, beauty, and skincare. So now we just have like miscellaneous items. And I just have one item. I she have has one. one. <laughs> so this is like really random, and it is a food, holy grail item. Strawberry O's. Go to Trader Joe's, y'all. Just go to Trader Joe's. I should eat the whole box in one sitting. Like I can eat it in like maybe 20 minutes. The whole box in 20 minutes. Yeah. I'll like, here, she's still there crunching at the. This scratch, stuff scratch, is so at the good. Computer. And you can't have any because you are allergic to strawberries, so you are missing out. I love the strawberry oils. They are really, really good. All right, next for me, these two go hand in hand. All right, this is the Thermacare, the menstrual pain therapy. What is that? Okay. Guys, when I'm on my period, I get mm -hmm. really bad cramps. And since I started using these, they really subsided and stuff. And um, this is for, you get three packs. I've already used one. And I've got two more left, and I just like to keep them in my purse. Especially if I'm out and about or I'm at work and the cramps hit, all I gotta do is just take these, and you just um, take the sticky part off, and you stick it on your back or your stomach, whichever area the pain is at. And then once that heat goes, comes on, it feels so good, and just the pain just kind of just subsides and everything. And this and two pills, like some ibuprofen or something, and I'm good to go. And then when I'm at home, I just use this heat wrap. I got this from Target. I think it's like ten dollars but this is reusable this other this is not you just have to throw it away after you use it but um i like using this at home you just stick it in the microwave for like 45 to 45 seconds to a minute and then um, you take it out you just kind of scrunch it around to get that heat flowing and then you just put it on your stomach or your back and lay down and then you're just good to go i just love it all right y'all so that's it for our holy grail items um a lot of the stuff you've seen before because mm -hmm. we are creatures of habit with our products. Right. Yes. So um, we like something, we love it. Yeah, so that's exactly what a Holy Grail product is. It really is Holy Grail. And we will keep repurchasing some most of this stuff. And um, yeah, so let us know what some of your Holy Grail items are. If you have any of the same like us mm -hmm. or anything like that, or any kind of comments, just let us know. Alrighty, so thank you guys for watching our video. We'll, we'll see, see you guys in the next, next one. one. Bye. Bye. I'm go first, I'm gonna start off with hair care. Mm -hmm. Can you do it again? Cause I'll still mess with my hair. <laughs> Hey guys! Welcome, Welcome back to our channel. channel. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go first. Oh, this is my hand. Alright, for my beauty. Alright, for the Holy Grail item. Okay, for the beauty category for me. Start over. 